Good morning. Good morning, Mrs. Mommy. How y'all doing? You ready for a good day today? Yes. Who's gonna have a good day? Me. Good job. After we dropped my daughter off to school, T. Greg and I decided to go to the supermarket to do some shopping for the night's dinner. So this is one of my favorite parts of bonding with my children. I like to take them out shopping with me. It's a perfect opportunity for them to learn a lot about their culture, to learn about food, to learn about how to count, how to save money, how to bargain with people. And I just wanted to take him to this Haitian store so that he could get a real feel of what his Haitian culture is all about. So they have pots, there's all kinds of groceries in there that you would see. There's calabash bowls. You even have dishes, cups, and plates that's, you know, common to the Caribbean. They also have some loose um, herbs and spices that are available for, for um, consumption. They have scotch bonnet, peppers, green plantain, lime. You can get everything at this market. It's literally like stepping in to the Caribbean to purchase anything that you would normally get there so after a long day he was all tuckered out and we came right home hey guys so we just got home from doing a bunch of shopping that's aria here say hi aria hi oh. <laughs> yeah so we just got home from shopping this is t greg here oh. all my hi. rings oh. and my makeup all right girl all right girl <laughs> come down all right, so I got my little baggie with the stuff that I bought from the Haitian market. And um, I picked up some peppers. These are some Scotch bonnet peppers. I love them to death. I probably have like a million inside of my fridge because every time I go shopping, I pick these up. I also picked up some um, authentic Haitian chocolate. Um, here's the chocolate in its rawest form and you can use it to make hot chocolate, which we're gonna make later on. So I save this, I put it inside my pantry, and when I'm ready to make that hot chocolate, I'll do a video for it. I also picked up some Jean Jean mushroom. This is to make some black rice. This is super expensive. This is like $20 for this little bag right here. So black rice is not something that I make very often, but you know, it's an occasion, so we're gonna be making this today. I'm gonna to show you exactly how um, I prepped the chicken. And I also got like a little bag of rice. I like to buy these bags of rice from the Haitian market store because I just love their rice. I just love it, okay. So let's get started. So before we even begin to make the chicken, what I'm gonna do is just cut these green plantains up. I'm gonna show you how I soak them in some salt water and garlic and the longer you soak these the better it is so i am going to leave these to soak while i prepare the um chicken Now I am just going to drop a few cloves of garlic in there. You know, you can never have too much garlic, so I just be throwing it all in there. All right, so now we're gonna soak it. We're gonna put some salt water as well. All right, so let's just put a little bit of salt inside. Can I put the salt inside? Yeah, you can put the salt inside. No, here. So now we're going to put the salt inside a little bit. Oh, let me do. All right, so we got a bowl of chicken here. There's like 12 pieces of drums. I did prep this chicken a little bit differently because um, I parboiled it by rinsing it in lime and hot water. So as you can see, the chicken looks like it's partially cooked, but that's okay. That's the method that we're gonna go for. And the first thing I'm going to do is just grab my green seasoning and put about two or three spoonfuls onto this. All right, so we're just going to put a little bit more of the green seasoning on it. You can find the recipe for this on my YouTube channel. Just tap the description box and um, the link is there. 
So I am going to go in with about a teaspoon of this Maggie All Purpose seasoning. This is not any specific recipe that I'm making. I am just freestyling it as I go along. I am also going to get some chicken seasoning. About a teaspoon and a half to this. You want to make sure it has some nice flavor. All right, next we're gonna go in with some garlic powder, probably just about a teaspoon. Can I do that one? And the next one we're going to use is mm -hmm. onion powder. I, I wanted to do the onion powder. All right, and lastly, we're going to put some paprika. All right, there you go. Just a little bit? Mm-hmm. Paprika, paprika, mm -hmm. paprika, paprika. paprika. All righty, so now we're just going to massage the seasoning right into the chicken. Get it all in there. Make sure you get the seasoning evenly distributed on all of the drums. I'm going to do it too. Your hands are too little, Aria. Mm -hmm. Last time I did it, it wasn't too little. So can I do it please, mommy? Wait a second. So I put the mushroom inside the pot. I already sifted it to get rid of the dirt. And now we're just going to boil this. We're getting ready to put our chicken inside of this pot. We're just gonna fry it first. Alrighty, so now we're just adding the chicken into the pot. So right now, I am just frying the green seasoning. I already boiled the water out from the mushroom. I set it to the side. We're gonna toast our green seasoning just for about 30 seconds. This is the water that I left on the side from the mushroom. And we're going to use this water as a base for our rice. All right, so I fried these until they were brown. They're not fully cooked, but we're going to make a sauce based in tomato paste. All right, so I got the mac and cheese made here. I am going to put it in the baking dish and we are going to bake it on 350. This is a Haitian style mac and cheese. If you want the recipe for this, there is a whole entire video on my YouTube channel. I am going to put the link in the description box for you guys, but dinner is almost coming together. Once this goes inside of the oven, we are going to make our sauce for the chicken. Mm -hmm. Yummy, deemy, deemy, yummy. Yeah, looks yummy, right? Mm-hmm. Looks yummy, everyone. Can I get some cheese? Can you get some cheese? Can I sprinkle? Aria, please, girl. Yeah, please. Ooh, let it go. Right now, let's take a look at our black rice. Wow, look at that beauty. Look at how beautiful that looks. So I'm using the same pan that we fried the chicken in, but I did clean out the pan a little bit. I left some of the char marks in there because there's a lot of flavor in there. So I got a can of tomato paste and what we're going to do is I am going to drop
drop some onions inside of the pan. We are gonna saute this real nice for like a minute or so until the onions get a little bit soft. And we're going to season this. I'm also dropping in some green seasoning. Now I'm gonna add in a spoon of tomato paste. How much? I don't know. I don't really measure. You just gotta listen to the ancestors, baby. Listen to your ancestors. We're just gonna saute this now. And then we're gonna add some all-purpose, some onion powder, some garlic powder, some all-purpose seasoning, and put some water on there, and then add our chicken. So I ended up putting like another little spoonful of tomato paste because I really want this to have a nice deep color. So here we are. Let's grab our all-purpose seasoning, our onion powder, garlic powder, chicken seasoning, all that good stuff. I'm just adding in some all-purpose seasoning. We got some chicken seasoning here. I'm putting like maybe a teaspoon of each. I did put like a tablespoon of the all-purpose. See how our onions are nice and soft? Let me turn our fire down just a little bit. We got onion powder, garlic powder. And now we're gonna add our water. There we go. If I had to estimate, that was probably about two and a half cups of water. And what you wanna do is drop a pepper on in there. That'll give it some nice spice. All right, there we go. We're gonna turn up this fire really high and let it bubble up. Once it starts bubbling up, we're gonna put that chicken right back in here. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, smells amazing. Look at this. Mm, I can't wait to cut this open. Mm, so good. Remember guys, this recipe is on my YouTube channel. Tap on the description box for the link to this video. I am just adding our chicken back in to our pot. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes now. Look at our gravy. Look at how rich it is. The chicken is nicely cooked. Look at this, it smells amazing. All right guys, so this is our finished product. We got our baked mac and cheese. We have our stewed chicken, our black rice, the bun on peze, the fried green plantain, and we have some avocado on the side. Make sure you hit that subscribe button 